When it comes to leadership in Africa, there is one individual who stands out for being the most shielded leader on the continent. The level of security surrounding this leader is unprecedented, leaving many to wonder who he is and why such high levels of protection are deemed necessary. If you end up enjoying this video, please consider liking, commenting with your opinion, and subscribing to see more of our future videos. The Identity of Africa's Most Protected Leader At the center of Africa's most fortified leadership is President Paul Bia of Cameroon, a figure who has held onto the reins of power since November 1982. His prolonged tenure, spanning over four decades, places him among the continent's most enduring rulers. The narrative of Bia's rule is a complex tapestry woven from his administration's attempts to retain control amidst widespread scrutiny over governance and human rights concerns. Bia's presidency has been marked by a determined effort to maintain a steadfast hold on power amid a backdrop of political and social upheaval. The challenges to his leadership have only intensified the protective measures enacted to ensure his safety, spotlighting him as Africa's most safeguarded leader. These security protocols are a direct response to internal strife, including significant unrest in certain regions of Cameroon that has spurred both national and international attention. The need for such extensive security arrangements stems from a combination of internal conflict, notably the strife in Cameroon's Anglophone areas, and the broader implications of dissent against his rule. Despite the controversies shadowing his governance, Bia remains a central figure in African politics, emblematic of leaders who navigate the intricate balance between authority and the clamor for democratic freedoms. His presidency's longevity underlines a contentious journey of resilience and adaptability, where the breadth of security measures encapsulating him reflects not just on personal safety, but on the broader dynamics of power retention in a politically fragmented landscape. This high degree of protection, while serving as a shield against potential threats, equally mirrors the complexities surrounding leadership and political survival in the modern African context. Why such high levels of protection? The heightened security surrounding President Paul Bia is intricately linked to the volatile political climate within Cameroon, especially considering the ongoing separatist insurgency in the Anglophone regions. These regions have been embroiled in conflict as groups vie for independence, leading to a precarious security situation that necessitates robust protective measures for the nation's leader. The president's approach to quelling these disturbances has been criticized for severity, contributing to an environment where threats against his person and administration are perceived to be significantly elevated. Additionally, Bia's lengthy tenure and the manner in which he has maintained his grip on power have steered discontent among various factions within the country. Opposition parties and dissenting voices have been met with harsh responses, heightening the sense of unrest and the potential for direct threats to the president's safety. This unrest, coupled with the government's hardline stance on dissent, underscores the rationale for the substantial security apparatus that encases the president. The necessity for such protection is further compounded by the international scrutiny Cameroon faces over its human rights record and governance issues. External pressures and the threat of international intervention or sanctions contribute to the perceived need for an extensive security network to safeguard the president against both domestic and international threats. In this context, the elaborate security measures enveloping President Bia are seen as crucial for his personal safety, the preservation of his regime, and the stability of the state apparatus under his control. The cost of security. A financial burden? Maintaining an elevated level of security for President Paul Bia demands substantial financial investments from Cameroon's budgets. The deployment of advanced security technologies, specialized personnel, and the extensive protocols necessary to ensure the president's safety translates into a significant expenditure. This outlay isn't just in direct costs, such as salaries for security personnel and equipment purchases, but also in indirect expenses, like the opportunity costs of diverting resources from other critical areas of need. 
In a country where vast segments of the population grapple with economic challenges, the prioritization of such a hefty security budget raises questions about the allocation of national resources. While the safety of the nation's leader is undeniably important, this financial commitment must be balanced against the imperative needs of the public in sectors such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure development. The scrutiny over these expenditures becomes even more pronounced in light of Cameron's pressing socioeconomic issues, implications on governance and political freedom. The robust security measures enveloping President Bia, while ostensibly for his protection, have significant ramifications for governance and political freedom in Cameroon. These stringent security protocols have created an atmosphere where dissenting voices struggle to be heard, effectively stifling political dialogue and opposition. The intense security environment acts as a barrier to free speech and assembly, as the presence of security forces and surveillance can deter public demonstrations and critical discourse. This scenario cultivates a climate of fear and compliance where the political landscape is skewed in favor of the incumbent regime at the expense of democratic principles and pluralism. Moreover, the overarching security framework has implications for the transparency and accountability of the government. With power consolidated around the presidency and shielded by extensive security, there are limited checks and balances on executive actions. This concentration of power, insulated by layers of protection, can lead to governance decisions that prioritize regime stability over public interest, with minimal oversight or critique from civil society or opposition parties. This dynamic challenges the essence of democratic governance, where open debate, transparency, and accountability are fundamental. The heavy-handed approach to security not only affects the physical landscape of politics in Cameroon, but also the ideological foundation of its democracy, casting a long shadow over the country's governance and the political freedoms of its citizens. The Role of International Relations in Security Measures The intricate tapestry of international relations significantly shapes the security measures encircling President Bia, reflecting a dual-edged sword in global diplomacy. On one hand, foreign nations and international bodies have exerted pressure on Cameroon's government, urging reforms and the cessation of human rights abuses. These calls from the international arena are part of a broader dialogue concerning governance and human rights practices worldwide, where Cameroon's situation is under continuous scrutiny. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future content. <laughs>